Stephen Keats was an American actor who appeared in such films as Death Wish, Black Sunday and the Chuck Norris thriller Silent Rage. Biography The son of Jewish emigrants from Denmark, Keats was a popular and prolific actor of the 1970s. He grew up in Canersey, Brooklyn, New York, graduated from the New York School for the Performing Arts. After serving a tour of duty in Vietnam with the Air Force from 1965-1966, Keats attended the prestigious Yale School of Drama in 1969 and 1970. He is the father of photographer and actor Thatcher Keats. Keats debuted on Broadway in the second cast of O. Calcutta, and appeared in over 80 films and TV shows. He was nominated for an Emmy in 1977 for his role as the ruthless, Great Depression-era entrepreneur Jay Blackman, who clawed his way to the top of the rag trade or clothing business in the 1977 miniseries Seventh Avenue. He also portrayed Thomas Edison on the brink of inventing the electric light bulb in the science fiction TV series Voyages. His film career included roles in The Friends of Eddie Coyle, Death Wish, The Gambler, The Gumble Rally, The Last Dinosaur, Black Sunday, The Ivory Ape, Hangar 18, Silent Rage, Turk 182, Badge of the Assassin, and the 1982 TV movie of the Norman Mailer book The Executioner's Song, starring Tommy Lee Jones. Another notable role was Keats' memorable performance in the celebrated 1975 movie Hester Street set on New York City's Lower East Side of the 1890s. Keats played Jake Podkovnik, an assimilated Americana, complete with derby hat and an impressive handlebar moustache. Jake is less than favorably disposed toward his recently emigrated wife, the meekly submissive GITL because she is a constant reminder of his own greenhorn status which he is trying desperately to forget. Keats guest starred on the episode of The A-Team called Harder Than It Looks. At the end of his career, Keats was playing the part of Ed McLean on the soap opera Another World, and guest starred as Nicholas Davis II on All My Children. On May 8, 1994, he was found dead in his apartment in Manhattan from an apparent suicide.